Do you find yourself doing this every time somebody's throwing punches at you? <laughs> so if you feel like that was you, stay tuned to the end of the video. I don't even know what I would call this. Uh, I guess it'd be flinching, closing your eyes and, and not being comfortable in the storm. You have to make sure you're comfortable in the storm or you're just gonna get beat up. And we were just acting in that. Uh, if we were actually going, I would have got hit a lot. So I'm gonna show you guys some tips and some drills on how to get comfortable when punches are being thrown at you and how to build away that blinking and that and that turning your head away and, and how we can stop doing that. So I'm gonna bring in my guy. Come on, Landon. He's gonna work with me. Uh, make sure you guys go check them out on IG, link in the description. All right, now let's get on to the drill. Boom. So for this drill, uh, you can do this out in the open. You don't need to be pressed up against the corner. I'm just doing it because we have an extra ring. So what Landon's gonna do, he's gonna throw very, very light punches. I'm gonna keep my hands down for now. And he's just gonna tap my forehead. Right, tap it. And so what I'm going to do is make sure I'm keeping my eyes open and I'm not blinking. And I'm just keeping my eyes open like this. And so what my partner can do, right? So he's not just kind of just throwing punches. He's practicing good technique. Perfect jab. Perfect right hand. Okay, but he's just going to keep doing it. You can do 30 seconds. Your partner switches. So Landon's going to go ahead and tap my forehead and I'm going to keep my eyes open. Right? And so a lot of us, we're gonna end up blinking. I've been doing this for a while. I can keep my eyes open for the most part. All right, but this is all you're gonna do, very simple. And it's gonna help you get used to it. The second level of this drill, I'm gonna start putting my hands up. And I'm gonna be here, and it's gonna be tough for you guys to see my face, but trust me, I'm keeping my eyes open. So now Landon is gonna just hit my guard, but he's gonna throw fast punches. Just here, just tap. Hold, uh, okay. but do them fast and just tap. And I'm gonna, uh, when I'm here, I wanna keep a nice tight guard. And as you guys could see in the video, I started doing this, keep throwing punches. And a lot of us tend to do this when we get uncomfortable. This is terrible, guys. As you can see, especially from this angle, if we were in a real fight and I start reacting like this to Landon, Landon can go over with a hook, throw a hook, boom, and catch me. Okay, so this is also a good drill to keep your hands in nice and tight. And I'm just, I'm here, I'm here. Nice tight guard, start out with straight punches and my eyes are staying open, okay? So one more time, Landon, fast punches. Keep my eyes open, keep my eyes open. Keep my eyes open. Drill right there is gonna help you so much to keep that tight guard, keep your eyes open, right? A, a lot of the times when you watch a professional fight, these guys, when they take a nice snapshot picture of them, they're getting hit, boom, and their eyes are wide open. You have to be able to see everything. Because a lot of the times when people get knocked out, it's the punch that they don't see coming, right? So they might have their eyes closed when they duck, right? Or they turn their head and they close their eyes, right? So make sure you're keeping your eyes open, always on your opponent. And then what we can do to make this drill even harder I'm gonna tell Landon, look, throw hard, straight shots and try to break my guard. Now this would be the last level. So go ahead, throw hard, straight punches. Try to hit my face. Yep, try to break my guard. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, break. And so, <laughs> some of those kids went through, they're good. Yeah. Um, so when we do that right now, it's a more of a real life scenario. He's throwing harder punches. And I want, gotta try to keep a tight guard so it doesn't go through my guard and I'm trying to keep my eyes open. Remember y'all, it's the punches you don't see that knock you out. Oh, that part's getting cut out. Remember y'all, it's the punches you don't see that knock you out. Oh, that part's getting cut out. Um, Make sure you guys keeping your hands up keeping your eyes open. I know this drill might look goofy, but this is a drill that really helped me get comfortable. And so then when we actually 
get in get into sparring now it's going to be a little bit tougher right because when we're doing this drill and he's just tapping my forehead i know what's coming right i i, I know what he's going to do i'm comfortable it's a controlled environment now when we get into sparring i don't know when that punch is coming right so even when we're doing uh even if it's light rounds hard rounds whatever you guys do in the gym I might put myself in a situation where I'm gonna let Landon tee off on me. So just throw punches everywhere, body, all that. And I try to get comfortable in that situation, right? Because a lot of the times, especially, and this is more for newer people, a lot of the times somebody starts throwing a lot of punches like that. And I'm sure if I go back in the video and I could see it myself, Landon wasn't protecting his head. He was just throwing a lot of punches. So if you're able to stay calm in that situation, go slow and just throw like a bunch of punches. Boom, he's not covering up. Boom, I can step in with something heavy and catch him with it. But the only way you're gonna see those things coming is if you uh, keep your eyes open, keep your hands up, protecting yourself, making sure those punches aren't coming through. But guys, a lot of the stuff, drills that I show you, make sure that you do them when you're sparring and not just light sparring, hard sparring. So. A lot of people may go to a gym and do a lot of drills and, and drills are great guys. I'm not taking anything away from drills, but a lot of the times you can still develop bad habits when you're drilling because a real life punch is, isn't coming at you and you're in a comfortable situation. So make sure guys, whether it's what I'm teaching you or where your coach is teaching you, whether it's to slip a jab, do whatever that you try against somebody hard sparring, right? In a real life scenario. So. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Comment below uh, what other issues you guys are having as far as like, you know, uh, techniques or anything like that. I can make a video on it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope this helped you out and help improve your game. Other than that, guys, peace.